do today, I'm going to start off, if my dog keeps out of the way, to start off showing you about the boat in my garden and then I can finish the uh, process on the uh, lake. So basically it's a Toslan F64, I think it is, and I've had this for I think four years now, might even be more. I think it's four years though. Primarily it's only ever used in France. So um, bought from Total Tackle. They are the only supplier in the UK of the Toslands brand new. And so I purchased it from them, brand new. And everything that's in this bag now is what came with it when I bought it. It's a pretty good boat. It's, I've got the X-Pilot on it. I've got graphic echo sounder on it as well. So basically I'm just gonna show you what's in this kit and then we'll take it down the lake and show you how it performs. So you get the boat, obviously your various covers. Inside the bag, you've got two batteries, which again, I would normally keep indoors. The only reason they're in here is for demonstration or if I'm going to the lake. I've got my X-Pilot and the aerial, which again, I keep in the bag, separate from everything else, with the correct aerial for it, because I have on one occasion put the wrong aerial on the X-Pilot and the wrong aerial on the boat, and uh, yeah, not, not much success with that one. I've got the original fly ski handset. Four batteries, just simple AA batteries. And again, obviously when I go to the lake, this will all be set up apart from the batteries won't be in the boat, which can be a faff to put on. And then I've got the TF640 graphic echo sounder. And again, that comes with the batteries. And again, I keep the aerial that should be on the unit in the bag with the battery, so I don't put the wrong one on the uh, on the boat. Because again, if you put, the, put them the wrong way round, you're not going to get much signal from the boat with this little aerial on it. So basically, all that happens with this battery when it's fully charged, which it is, you just sit it in there, plug it in there, and that's ready to go when I turn it on. Two aerials for the boat. Let's move this out of the way now. And it actually says on the boat which side is for which. So antenna for the boat, antenna for the fish finder. So the fish finder is this fat aerial and it actually says fish finder on it and the one for the boat okay keep your little red covers somewhere safe put them in a bag and put them in there okay what i'm going to do now i'm going to move this camera over to here to try and show you putting the batteries in it's a bit of a faff if i'm honest but once you get used to them they're really easy to do but basically the batteries sit in here and there's if i can get my things out of the way there's a couple of little bits there basically you have to prise them open with your fingers as you slip the battery in this side's really easy this side is quite a bit harder because you've got all these gubbins in if i turn this around you've got all your bits and bobs in the way so it's quite tricky to put those in but yeah so we'll see what we can do as i say i'm going to try and wedge this camera somewhere so you can see me actually putting the batteries in the batteries going as i say this side's really easy basically you wedge those two clips open put your battery in at an angle and then so that's that one in place so i don't know if you saw that sort of wedged it in at an angle and then lift the back up so it goes in square let's come around to the other side 
what you've got to be careful not to unplug any leads when you do this on this side and there you go that's probably the easiest I've ever put that side in then plug your batteries in all your connectors in that's your batteries in and you put your covers on so yeah that will be it for now and we'll see you down the lake to do this uh, demonstration of the boat and everything um, just before I do it I'll just slip a bit and I forgot when I was doing the bit at home talk about charging the batteries and everything so I'm just going to slip that bit in now it's like a minute long and then we'll come back to we're on the bank here and see where we go from there show you a bit okay and just talk a little bit about charging them this is the standard pack that comes with the um with the boat when you buy it just plugged into a normal 240 volt red light when they're charging you'll see various things on especially on facebook people slagging that off and oh yes it does get hot but i've never had a problem with it so it's important to charge them together i see people buying balancing kits to charge their batteries and then asking questions about it well just stick with the original is my opinion likewise the battery for the um graphic echo sounder it uses the same charger what you do is you uh, you take off the connector that goes into the graphic echo sounder put on this one that comes with the boat and then you use the same charging lead you just disconnect it there and you plug that in and that's how you charge up the graphic echo sounder battery and lastly the X pilot you can see it's on charge there it's just on a usb lead it goes in there plugs in it's got a small battery in the back but anyway so that's the battery system let's get over to the lake and see how we get on i've come around this side of the lake just to try and do a little bit of footage of setting the boat up setting your waypoints and everything because um i've just done a little bit around in my swim but it's very windy there and uh quite awkward to do because I can't get any bank sticks in around there it's rock hard boys around the corner I've got the bank sticks in so hopefully this is going to work and everything will be in shot all right so here's your initial setup you have to ignore this rubber band on the aerial I literally broke this aerial this morning but anyway yes to set your boat up so you start off with your remote you put the throttle in the down position turn the remote on then put the throttle into the middle so as the boat's not running when you uh, turn it on. Turn the boat on. You would now put <coughs> your bait in underneath. Shut your hoppers. Your up button. I may have shown all of this before. Um, once you've got the boat turned on and your bait in, turn your X-Pilot on. And any second now it'll come up connected to the boat connected to the boat um, we haven't got any satellites yet so it's not going to work turn on your okay we've got five satellites now so uh, we'll put the boat out and see what happens with that so literally just in the water once once you're a little way out you can set your home button so just stop the boat there basically the home button doesn't actually work everyone tells you don't use the home button for some reason it loses its setting so if you want to set that as your home button go up takes it to number two enter save this slot yes that waypoint is now saved so when I want to bring the boat home I still go for number two so what we're going to do now we'll just go out to those reeds over the sink and we can keep an eye on on here and that's the depth you've got so we're on you know we've got nine foot there already it's very deep this corner
That's supposedly a fish underneath the boat now. So let's say we wanted to set that as our waypoint now. So you stop the boat where you are. Again, go up, then go down to number three. Enter, save the slot, yes. And that slot saved. So now imagine we've dropped the bait and we want to come home. We push the flag, number two, enter, yes, I want to navigate and the boat will come back on its own. At this point, you can put your handset down and everything and be sorting out your rods and uh, getting them all set up. And what I will do when this gets back, when it gets back to home, or what I've set at home, number two, this will bleep and it'll wait for you to do something with the remote. The boat will just stop. So in theory now, you've set your rods up and you're waiting for your boat to come back and it just stops, that's where we set it, number two, we set it out there. So, let's say we want to go back to the point now, it's later in the day, we want to go back to our baited spot. Again, the boat in the water, push the flag. We know it was number three, go to number three, enter. Is that where you want to go to? Yes. And the boat will go back out to where it was and stop when it gets there. Again, it's good to use your echo because some spots you might be fishing, I don't know, seven foot and you, you, you're just off of a six foot drop or something. I'd say the X-Pilot is accurate within a metre. So it's good then to, on your boat, just push enter. Enter, that stops that bleeping. But the boat is now stopped over where I would want to drop the boat, drop the bait even. So you just open your hoppers, bait away. And that's it. That is the Toslan X-Pilot. Well, Toslan X-Boat, X-Pilot, and Graphic Echo Sounder. There's not a lot else to say about it. Let's bring it home, and uh, it's already put one fish on the bank on this trip, so uh, I'm happy with it.